Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel From Fertility to Delivery. My name is Dana and I wanted to take some time out today to talk about gravity and how important gravity is when you are actually giving birth. Uh, when you think of a woman giving birth, you think of them probably flat on their back, most likely in a hospital bed because that's um, the typical Western view of giving birth. And um, just pushing flat on their back against gravity. Now why are we flat on our back? Where did that come from? A little history lesson. Uh, King Louis XIV, and this was during uh, the 17th century of France, he had 22 children and he wanted to see the face of all of his children. One, to make sure that that was his child, that it had some resemblance to him. And also, um, some of the research says that he had um, a fetish or some voyeurism. He wanted to see all of the labors. So back then, most of the delivery uh, positions were seated upwards. Uh, they actually had birth stools that they used, uh, almost like a toilet with the rim open so that the mother <clears throat> or the birthing mother is upright, sitting up straight, so that gravity can allow the birth and the baby and everything to come down. And just give you a little live demonstration with a fake baby. Um, the baby's head is coming down this way. This is the cervix. Uh, this is the portion of the body where the baby actually comes out of. And this goes from one centimeter dilated to 10 centimeters dilated. Um, once you're 10 centimeters dilated, <clears throat> they consider you open, wide open, ready to go, ready to give delivery, uh, ready to be in a delivery room if you're giving birth in a hospital. So the baby's head would go through the cervix, birth cervix would open up and allow the baby to give birth. Now when you're seated upwards and you allow gravity, to help the baby push itself down, it's a much, much easier birth. When you are flat on your back, your cervix is here and your baby, the baby's head is pushing, trying to give birth in a very awkward position. Uh, now, not to gross anyone out, but uh, when you give, when you have a number two and um, you would never consider being flat on your back to um, have a bowel movement. And those two um, areas, are they're very close to each other. So the purpose is the same. And that's really what I want to drive home today, uh, is that it's important to know what, what works for your body, what's natural, and what comes naturally. You are going to want to be upright. You are, are going to want to feel the, the assistance of gravity helping you push everything in the right spots assisting you with the actual labor and delivery of your baby. Um, a couple things about um, giving birth and birth positions. Uh, it's going to be harder in the hospital, but if you can ask for pillows to prop you up, do that right away. Uh, also, uh, sometimes they have your, your legs, you know, pushed really close to your body, uh, almost like you're squatting in air. Um, I'm not sure how well that works uh, because you, there is some sort of incline there. So if you can have your feet flat on the floor, um, if that's possible, it might or might not be depending on how and where you're giving birth. Uh, usually in the hospital you are it's almost flat on your back um, and that's another reason is just so you, that your doctor, your OB can actually see what's happening and catch the baby. Um, but again, it is an ideal. So do whatever you can to get the birth that you want. Uh, one of the really popular <clears throat> positions to give birth, um, a couple actually, is to be um, on your hands and knees, propped up, um, probably also get using a birth ball uh, at the beginning and then squatting. Squatting has been very um, helpful in the past uh, with a lot of women. Uh, giving birth in a birthing tub with water, uh, that's obviously ideal as well because the water is just helping everything move, move uh, fluidly and feel good. Also, um, the proposal 
where we have one knee down and then the other knee as if you are proposing or you're being proposed to when a man proposes to a woman or a woman proposes to a woman or a man proposes to a man. Uh, everybody, <clears throat> when they're in that position, uh, there's a, a pretty wide space that you can actually have for giving birth. And that is um, hopefully with the home birth that we are preparing for number two. That would be uh, an ideal position for for me to be in. And um, just to give another update, we are at week 31 and a half, and, um, which is also seven months towards um, baby number two. Very excited. So thank you for watching this. I just wanted to make sure everyone knew about gravity and how important it is, where it came from, why we're on our backs, and how we can change that mindset. Uh, the truth is very important and it will set you free. Uh, go ahead and look for some links below for some uh, articles about giving birth and how it's changed over the years. Also, all my information, uh, contact me about hypnobirthing through Blissborn. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, fertility, from fertility to delivery at gmail.com. Also, my uh, phone number is below. I hope you enjoyed the video and keep yourself educated about birth. The more you know, the more you're prepared. You walk in, you feel ready to tackle that day and to make it as memorable as possible so you can enjoy it again and again and again. Many blessings.